Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Faster Than Light. I'm your host, Turtle Epic. Let's jump into it. So, as before, we have a seven-member crew. Our max that we can have is eight, and hopefully we'll fill that out soon enough. Uh, we got great power on everything. I can actually... If I wanted to, I could turn off the Ion Blast, and I could power up another level of shields. So, oh, I can take one out of Med Bay, and I can go ahead and put that back in the Ion Blast. Okay, very nice. Now, as you saw last time, we've entered the civilian section, which will hopefully give us some good stuff to use on our trip before we head into the tougher uh, second half of the game. You arrive at the distress beacon near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with pirate markings partially crushed between... Oh, we've done this before. Uh... Let's just shoot the ship down. Okay. Looks like they have a laser and two bomb launchers. <coughs> bomb launchers are kind of like missiles they take up missiles, and they attach directly to the ship and detonate after a few moments. Not entirely sure what all the difference is. They only have one shield, so they're going to be taken down so easy. Let's go ahead and launch a missile at their weapons. Launch a laser at their weapons. And keep the ion blast on shields. Once I take their weapons down, I'll go and send my guys over to start attacking them. Although these are rock people, so I don't know how easy it will be to attack them. Oh man, I did resist that. I need auto fire on. Let's try hitting their missile again. Come on, work, 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 work. All right, took down their weapons. Nice. Go and turn the laser off for the moment. Keep Ion Blast on. Charge up the teleporter. And they're going to be headed to fix up the weapons. So let's send them in there. Now because we are firing at this room, we already took down that guy's health a good bit. So now we're just going to kill him easily. And put another power into med bay so I can heal my guys as soon as possible. Or if these guys only have two crew. They did. Now that the ship has been emptied of hostiles, you search it. Eventually you find a prisoner who offers to join your crew. And Yes, we got a mantis. Alright. Like I said before, the mantis people are excellent fighters. The Mantis disregard for individual lives led to their evolution as a vicious warrior race. Double damage in combat, and they even move a little bit faster too. However, their repair speed is halved. So I'll move a few guys into the med bay. And you are automatically going to be part of my new teleport crew. Alright, things are getting better and better for us. Right, your fighting is pretty high. And your fighting is... Uh, so you are going back on the teleporter crew. 
and you can just sit tight. Uh, where do I want you? You just be in the radar room, ready to fix that if anything happens. Okay. Let's go ahead and power up our energy one more time. Now we can have all weapons and shields active, and the med bay. Very nice. We hit that distress beacon. Let's go ahead and jump to this spot too. There's a black market hub here. You receive a message, these are dangerous times. If you have extra military grade explosives, we'll gladly pay you for them. Uh, I don't want to sell missiles at the moment. I want to hang on to those. Ooh, store. Too bad I already spent all my money. Hopefully they don't have anything that is extremely useful. Charge booster, long range scanners. Long range scanners tell you uh, what to expect at different stars on the map. Automated reloader. Cooldown between weapon shots is improved by 15%. Meh. Not too useful. Let's go and buy their fuel. Alright. They are right on our tail, so let's hide. Uh, hightail it out of here. The distress signal is coming from a small space station orbiting an uninhabited planet. Satellite defense system has gone haywire. We've done this before. Uh, let's remotely repair the targeting system. Alright, your crew member is able to remotely fix the glitch in the defense AI, allowing the repair crew to close in and finish the job. The station gives you its thanks along with a roar. Alright. We are able to do that option because we have the NG crew member Oni on our team. So let's see here. Let's head towards the star. One thing that I want to make mention of is the awesome music in this game, which you might not be able to hear so well over my speaking. But, you know, look it up yourself if you want to hear more of it. I'm sure somebody's uploaded it on YouTube. Uh, we do not. Let's go and fight the ship. Because we're evil like that. They have an ion cannon and a beam. But our shields are level 3, so we're not going to have to worry about anything. In fact, we can overtake their ship easily. Let's go ahead and fire at the weapons. Ion blast, you do your thing. As you can see by the name of their class, or maybe you can't, I don't know. <laughs> uh, their class is Slug Interceptor. The slugs are an interesting race that can see um, any room adjacent to their own, even if their radars are down. And they can see the movement of enemy people on your ship. So if you have a, a slug guy on your team, then you'll be able to see all the people running around in this ship. Although they'll just be red dots, you won't actually see the members themselves, you'll see red dots. But that's still pretty useful. Alright, let's go ahead and tone this down. You know, I'll need two shields. Let's go ahead and power this up and teleport you guys in there. Looks like my guys are doing okay. Can't really tell that well. Mm. Alright, there we go. We take their fuel and scrap. Very nice. Right, come on back, guys. 